and welcome back to my channel today we are here again for another dawn and julia creates so what are we doing this week um this week was julia's turn to decide and oh, have we got some absolutely gorgeous gorgeous stuff to, to show you um and to play with so the first thing is um we are to do a reverse canvas so um a medium size one and a small one these are what i have in my stash um so this is the reverse of that one this one's the reverse of this one so i'm gonna clue what i'm gonna do with that but we will see so these are my two canvases that we can work on um we are to then use we both bought this set and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's mechanical sea world scrapbooking a paper from stamperia absolutely beautiful we've both got it in the 12 by 12 and in the six by six and the matching stamp set so we're using this 12 by 12 sheet of paper out of the um the 12 by 12 paper pad so that's the paper that we use that's that side and then we've just got woods and stuff on this side um and then from the six by six we're using these tags um which are just absolutely gorgeous so those are the two papers we are allowed to use we also have a stamp set that we can use and it is this one how gorgeous is that i love 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 that head um but i think because we haven't been given extra paper to stamp on unless i stamp on the reverse we'll see um i think it's going to be just for texture i love i love those cogs so yeah so there's that um and then she hasn't said whether or not the because we can add cogs um from our stash but she hasn't said they have to be metal so i've just gone through my um stash of cogs that i have left over from other projects and some that i got from samantha k crafts so i thought you know what <clears throat> perfect let's use those if i run out i do have some metal ones um we're also allowed to bring in some cabochons from our stash so i have all different size ones um the these ones i actually use to make dragon eyes with um but like i said i've got really really big ones and little ones so um those are the cabochons that i'm going to use um we're then allowed to use gems as well from our stash but the gems i'm going to leave um until we finish and add them as um like an added little thing um we can then use our gesso so i'm going to be using black gesso today and we're allowed to use a texture paste we're allowed to use acrylic paints we're allowed to use our souffle um and we're also allowed a black pen so my plan today is let's take the wrapping off all of these oh that smells lovely it smells of fresh wood mm. oh smells absolutely divine i got this from a craft box i think if i remember rightly um so we have that one and then we have this one now don't throw these away because they're perfect for adding in texture um we're not going to be using them today but um which is a shame because i think they would have went quite nicely um so what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to do my um my composition so i'm going to stick all of my elements onto these um i'm going to use gel medium for this so i do have my gel medium um let me grab um i'm just do you know what i'm just going to use a spatula um and yeah so a reverse canvas is where you're working on the back of it um and like i say we're allowed to use our cogs and because julia didn't say whether or not it was oh i like that but i think i want that cut in actually i'm gonna break it let's break it um so yeah so julie didn't say it had to be metal ones so i've gone with wooden so just something a little bit different so i don't want to don't want to sort of overload it but you know what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is actually have that over the corner there i'm loving that piece there and then i'm thinking i'm gonna have that bit on that corner and then we have these sort of little ones that can sort of dot around um i think that one's a bit too too much the same um so maybe something like that and then on this one um so i'm just gonna break so I, i'm gonna go for a rustic look so i would say normally use your scissors but i'm, I'm not wanting to use my scissors on this because i'd like to have it sort of yeah um broken if that makes any sense um i don't want the straight lines 
and I don't know if that's in keeping with um oh look at that one oh isn't that gorgeous so straight away loving that and then um oh actually no I think I'm gonna have that on there I've got this little tiny baby one um oh maybe just up there and then I'm gonna bring in these uh big cabochons actually so let's just I am going to paint over them so let's have a look and then I've got loads of little ones as well so let's bring them in and let's see how we sort of go so I'm just building up my um sort of my texture oh, I love that and there's a little one I've got any more little ones here so these can be as if they're bubbles um yeah i'm loving that so i think that looks really really cool i'm gonna have that half of one just there well the oval one um and then i think i want to sort of add these on around the bottom and have no, a bit smaller yeah okay so i'm liking that so i'm just gonna Put them there so at the minute I am literally working on composition and how I want my pieces to sort of look um, so that's what we're sort of going for here at the moment um, need some more smaller ones oh, let's grab some more out okay so we don't want any more of the big ones um, I want some maybe group a couple together that might work might look really pretty i want to keep the um the oh staples in as well because i think they're going to make it a really nice texture so if we can do that i will so yeah i'm liking this i knew as see julia she um got in touch said oh have you seen this on her chanda and um yeah as soon as I saw it, it's like, oh my goodness, I need that in my life. Um, so we both ended up purchasing um, the different things, the different uh, papers. And oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I haven't sort of touched them yet because I knew that we, gonna, we were going to end up doing a Dawn and Julia Creates with them. So I've been, like I said, I've been dying to do them for ages. I, I'm wanting a few of these up on... The, on the cogs themselves so let's do that because I think that will look really nice yeah liking that and maybe two there um, I'm thinking so there's three I'd have to put one more on so it's sort of there's an odd number loving that um, I do feel like I want a big, big cabochon, so I'm just going to put them, let's have a look. Um, oh, what about that? And then, oh, I've got a smallish one here, and sort of have that just like that, yeah, I like that. So I'm sort of working on both canvases at once. Now, I'll be interested to see if Julia does black gesso or if she's going to do white gesso. I think, personally, she will go with the white gesso um, because I know she loves her vibrant colours. Um, so that's what I think she's going to go with. Um, whereas I feel like I haven't done sort of steampunk for such a long time and it's one of my favourite um, things to do so yeah so I'm gonna go with with um yeah with black so definitely interesting to see if we've both and I think she's gonna guess that I'm, I, I've gone black as well so I have a feeling that she's gonna guess right but have I guessed right that is the question isn't it it's a question we all face so I get to find out when you guys get to find out. So, oh, I'm loving that. Absolutely loving that for all of my texture. I'm just going to have a quick a sip of coffee. So what we're going to do is I am going to go around and we are going to glue all of these down. Um, so this is probably going to take a while. Oh, never mind jumping off. Sorry. 
oh don't even start so plain meanies okay so I'm gonna just stick that on there and actually what I'll do is let's get some glue on here so I'm using 13 arts um or what you call it gel medium but use whichever gel medium um for projects like this i would definitely go for a, a heavy body so you don't want like a watery gel medium definitely look at going for um a more heavy bodied one um yeah just because i think it you work easier with it and you, you can get the right amount on that you need it's easy to clean up afterwards which is awesome now i am going to add some texture into this as well um but i'm going to add the texture last because julie is not giving us a stencil to use so i'm just going to sort of build it up around everything i think so i don't think you need me to sort of sit here and do this because I've got a feeling this is going to be a long video anyway so I'm going to more or less stick to how this looks um and then once I've got all this stuck down I'll come back we'll put on our texture paste um yeah so yeah I'll be back in a second okay so they are all glued down and looking great so now uh, let's have a look what texture pastes do I have um oh i tell you what i have just got i've got oh i've got this fiber paste that's if it's still working um but i've got a feeling this is dried up i bet you it's dried up oh no it actually still works so i think i'm going to use this i was thinking of using that crackle glaze as well um that i got with craft box um but let's use this fiber paste so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sort of mush it in so just like this so it's just what i have it in my drawer and um, you can actually make a texture paste using talc and there's plenty of recipes out there um, and i did that when i very very first started um, mixed media and you know it's fab um i should actually make some more up um, because it does it you can mix it with anything it looks really really cool right I'm just wanting to add, like I say, um, because we don't have a stencil um, to sort of go through. I mean, I'm wondering, I could have probably made my own using the cogs and then stuck the cogs down. But, um, yeah, it's fine as it is. So, I'm just going to um, add this on just in some areas. I think I'm going to end up using all of this actually, which is good because it means that it hasn't gone to waste like my other ones did because I didn't use them. So use your products honestly because you wouldn't believe um, how much money you'll end up wasting by not using them. The amount that I've thrown out because I thought, oh, I don't want to use that, it's too good. Um, no, just use it. <laughs> Have fun with it, it's why we buy it. Right, I'm going to just stipple that because I really like how that fibre paste is looking. So, I'll do the same along here. Oh, I love that. Right, now I want to get onto the edges. So, I'm just going to get a little bit um, because don't you don't want to neglect the edges of your canvas and again I'm just going to stipple this as well just to give it some more texture so there's that bit oh, I love this um okay just oh try not to drop it really getting my um spatula in there okay I think I'll have enough oh don't fall off so I don't know if you can see my it's just fell off that means that it didn't have enough gel medium on it or I haven't allowed it enough time for it to dry so which is a bit silly so let's let's get this um bit back on so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to put some more gel medium on that I think um but before I do I just want to do this side bit as well so I'm hoping you can see Okay, so just like that, and just yeah, oh, I love that. Do you know what I might do? Because there's not much left of this. Let's pop this on this corner. So I'm really, really 
yeah because really there's hardly anything left so I think I'm going to use this fibre paste up on this one and then I'm going to use the crackle one I think on the other one so um, right just going to bring that down like so and try and get just a little bit on the sides if I can okay and then I'm going to just grab a big dollop of gel medium and just put that over the top of it and stick that in so that now should definitely definitely hold um, so yeah definitely hold now okay right oh I'm loving how it's looking absolutely loving it so just carry on um, and this is all going to get painted black so yeah um, oh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so I'm loving all of my texture on there um, let me just have a quick scan through um, I don't think I've got any more um, I thought I had a primer for this but I don't so I'm hoping I can use it without the primer um, I did get asked a question to whether or not um, it can be used without the primer so yeah we're about to find out so okay oh lovely right so I'm just going to pop some of this just along this edge here and going into there like that so this is all just to add in some lovely lovely texture I'm probably going a bit overboard with the texture but I don't mind okay so and we'll see what this crackle paste is like um oh I forgot to stick one down that was a bit silly of me wasn't it so just like that um now we need it in three so I need to put a little bit somewhere else and I'm thinking actually having it coming off the cog so yeah um so having it just over that cog and going off oh I like that and going onto that cabochon I think that actually will look kind of cool so there's that one so that now just needs um time to dry and then with this one um again I'm gonna have the crackle gel uh paste sorry uh, just coming off from our um cogs so the thicker it is the bigger the cracks as, as what I am um was what I understand um, it's been such a long time since I last used this so um because mine dried out because I didn't use it which is why you need to use your products okay let's do the side so I'm just gonna pop a layer all over the side like so um, and do the other side as well and I think I'm going to do that corner with some as well so let's have a look okay oh likeies I like that a lot I just want to fill that corner in there we go like I say we just have to wait now for it to dry and see what happens um, so yeah okay um, I'm probably thinking that maybe I should have put the crackle paste on after the gesso but it's fine it's fine right a little bit more I, I, I want it actually to buy the uh, pretty gets gritty one I will eventually because um, I know that's the one that our Julia uses and it is a one step one so right I'm just gonna go pop this on the sides like I say I'm not sure if this is going to crackle but we will find out um because I was sure I had the primer but goodness knows what I've done with it um just on that corner but I'm just using what I have in my drawers so oh gorgeous right so that is those um 
Let me put the lid on this and make sure it's tight. So I'm going to make sure that I use this up within the next couple of months so this one doesn't dry out like the last one did. Um, but yeah, it literally is now just giving these time to dry. Once they've had time to dry, um, we're then going to pop on our, um, our gesso and we'll start the colouring in process. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go with metallics um, and where's my papers so I think I'm going to bring in some turquoise um, I might bring in some purple definitely going to bring in gold and copper um, I think that will look really really nice so I think those are the colours that I'm going to go for so I will be back when this has all dried and we can get our first layer of gesso on um, yeah like I say, super excited to see whether or not Julia's going to go with black or white. I think she's going to go with white, but then part of me thinks she'll go with black just to prove me wrong. We'll see. We'll see what happens, won't we? Anyway, yeah, I'll be back when these are dry. So I'm going to leave these overnight to dry um, and then, yeah, it'll be time to colour. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so they are dried. Now, the um, crackle paste has worked. As you can see, we've got lots of crackles there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over my whole canvas now with um, a black paint. I'm probably going to fill in quite a lot of those crackles now, but that's fine. Um, but I want to... Um, I mean, there is still a few... It's, um, there's still a few areas which are... Um, still wet but it is the same day so I just thought you know what I'm going to get the the gesso on and then leave it overnight so that um, it's all going to be lovely and dry when I come to do it tomorrow because I think it's better if you uh, leave everything your gesso your gel mediums everything to dry now I am nearly running out of this um oh what do you call it gesso so I might have to get a new one out but while I was working I was thinking do you know what I quite like the idea of adding this in to my canvas somewhere so I think that might be an option so I add both canvases together um, so we shall see see what happens so I'm gonna do all of this like I say and make sure that everything is got a nice layer and a nice even layer um, of gesso on so and then it's all primed and prepped um definitely definitely um curious the more i think about it the more i want to know whether or not julia is going with black i hope she goes well goes with black or white i think she will go with white but part of me hopes that she goes with black and then goes with metallics because i think that would be nice um but yeah let's see we, we can only see, I mean, some of you might be watching this and you'll already know because um, obviously you'll be, uh, you've gone to her first and watched it. So, and then some of you will be like me and wondering which way she's gone. So, yeah, interesting to find out, isn't it? So, I don't think you need to see me colour all of this in black, um, but I am going to colour the sides in black as well. Um, and really get everything perfectly coated and then what I'll do is I'll come back tomorrow when these are all really really nice and dry and looking fabulous um, and we'll do our colouring in so yeah I'm going to leave it there um, and I will see you um, when these are all painted and dry and we'll do the next bit Okay, so I've just quickly come back on because as I'm painting this, um, I'm loving this canvas. And you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to have it as an extension of um, the canvas. I think what I'm going to do is put, get my gel medium and stick that to there and have this as an extension to this canvas. So we are creating two canvases, but we have joined them together. So I just thought I'd um, let you know that. So I think that'll look really, really cool. Um, I just can't decide whether I want it the bottom like that or whether I want it in the center or at the top or what about up on the top there that would be nice um no I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yeah 
I'm just going to get my gel medium and I'm going to uh, put lots in there and then finish painting it and I'll be back tomorrow so hopefully this will be nicely stuck onto there and then what um, I might do as well is just get some paper or something when it's all dry just put it on the back just for that extra like seal so that it's definitely not going to come off or just some cardboard or something just so that I, I know that that's going to be like stay permanently adhered so yeah thought I'd just tell you that right I'll be back when it's all dry okay so I'm back this is all dry um but what I've done is I've actually I've fussy cut all of these out um and sort of placed them down of roughly where I would like them to go um, I think I might do some more fussy cutting I'm not quite well I'm not 100% sure yet but I'm loving how that looks um so what I did is I did stick this on just with those bits um but I've just reinforced it with a bit of cardboard so that it's not going to go um anywhere um and I have um I have used my gel medium across there and to stick that on so I know that's not going to fall off or do anything like that. Um, um, I did run out of my other gesso and I started using the 13 Arts one. I can definitely say I do not recommend, um, which I'm a bit disappointed. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is thick, it's nice, um, but the coverage on it is just, yeah, I think I prefer that other one, the Peeball one that I've just done, that's just been finished. But as you can see, and um, with the other one, I only ever needed one coat. With this one, I'm going to need two coats just so that the back is, is nice um but yeah i mean it'll be all right to go through stencils and stuff a bit like the white one but the white and the clear one is definitely definitely um worth it but not as impressed with the black one so i've got that one so i'm going to use that up and i have got an, another one um that was gifted to me that i haven't tried yet and it's this one um so i will try that one once my that one's finished but depending on how good this is will depend on which one I buy. So, so far I'm recommending the one that I used at the beginning of this, um, yeah, this video. Right, okay, we also have our stamp set and I really, really want to add some stamping in. What I think I'm going to do is actually use my metallic paints um, to do a bit of stamping. So I'm going to just take that out. Um, I do have a stamping medium, so let me see if I can find it because I'm not quite sure whereabouts. Oh, oh here it is. Um, so, gel medium makes acrylic. Oh, no, that's more. I do. I've got one that's there. A stamp, so, makes acrylics a stamping paint. I don't think you'd need this, um, but. I do have it in my stash and it would be silly not to use it so I'm going to use that so that I can turn my I think I'm going to go with my bronze metallic paint so let's get that out um so there's that and then the colors I want to go for um let's have a look I'm thinking Oh, and just before I sort of think of my colours, I don't know if you can see that crackling, but it, I've done this without the um, the primer and it's worked lovely because I know quite a few of you got the primer in that um, mixed media bag. Um, so yes, you can definitely use it without the primer. I mean, how gorgeous is that crackling? Love it, absolutely love it. Um, I'm hoping Julie has used her crackle paste as well right um so i want my tealy colors so let's see what i have now it has to be acrylic paints so is this an acrylic paint um i'm not sure actually it doesn't say it just says it's a multi-purpose paint so i don't think that's an acrylic paint is it so let's right let's get out of the this drawer i think oh i wouldn't care there's quite a few in that drawer that i would absolutely love oh that one's an acrylic paint so my vintage aqua so i could definitely use that um don't need my palettes but let's have a look I want some grey I think 
Um, I want some. Hmm, what do we want? Um, I might bring in. This has actually got glitter in it. This acrylic paint. It's gorgeous. So I might use that. So we've got some more glitter. Um, I'm gonna come in with some cream as well. I'm wanting that gorgeous teeny colour and I know I have a feeling I don't have it in these. So what else do I have? Um, I'm just having a sort of look through. I think I'm gonna mix a few paints and just see just see what we get. I think that's gonna be the best option. Um yeah. So, right, I've got quite a few blues out because I think blues are definitely are the way to go. Um, right, okay, so I'm gonna work I'm gonna work with these ones. So before um I start, let's just move this out of the way and also let's just move these papers out of the way. Um we can use those in a little while. Um because what I want to do first is I want to bring in this silver and I want to make it into um, a paste in which we can, oh what's the word, uh, we can stamp with. So, um, I, I've only got sort of a sheet of paper. Um, I need like some acetate or something. Actually, we do have lots of acetate. So, in here there should be some I know I've got vellum in here but, but yes so I'm going to get a sheet of acetate out because I'm going to use half of this as my palette um, just so that it keeps my glass mat um, clear if I can get some of the sheets out there we go so let's pop that back life is so much better since I got these boxes to store everything in um, I can now actually reach for stuff as and when I need to. So uh, we are just going to, if I can find it, there it is. Um, I'm going to cut this in half. And that's going to be my stamping base. So that's what I'm going to use. Actually, I'll use a smaller bit. Okay, so let's pop a little bit of this on. So I'm just going to use my silver. Um, oh, I wanted to use my bronze. Actually, let's let's mix them both together. Um, why not? Oh, so just grab some of that and pop that in. Um, and then where's there? So how do we use this? It says mix equal parts to um, acrylic paints. Uh, Dip it into the paint, blotting on a towel. Excess paint. Uh, do, 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 do. Press stamp onto desired surface. Right, okay, so I more or less need equal parts. Well, I know that I don't want that much. Um, oh, he'll be fine, won't it? So let's put loads of that on. There we go. Now I'm going to grab a brush. Um, just because I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure whether or not we are allowed to use, um, yeah, an ink pad because it's not on the list. So I'm trying to be a good girl. <laughs> Julia's probably watching this and laughing at me. Um, but we are allowed to use acrylic paint. So I'm hoping I'm allowed to use this. It is acrylic paint. Well, it's made for acrylic paints to go with acrylic paints. So I can't see why I wouldn't be allowed Oh, I might end up on the naughty step, guys. So, keep, let's keep our fingers crossed. I don't know. I think I'm being a good girl. What do you guys think? Right, so I'm just spreading this out. Just so that... Now, I got that stamping thing. Um, I got it from the works many, many... Well, about three years ago. Um when I got all of my, because um, all of my paints came from the works and I've noticed they've stopped selling um, my acrylic paints so I'm going to have to find, because they were only a pound each which was which was awesome so I know that I'm going to have to um, 
yeah have a look to see if I can get some cheap acrylic paints elsewhere right so let's bring our piece back in and I want to use this stamp um, which is our text stamp so I'm just going to sort of drop that in and push it on so like that oh this is going to look gorgeous and then I'm just going to press it down so it's not the best but it's looking all right it's not looking too bad so I'm not sure if you have to stamp it sort of off a little I am not even sure if we're going to end up seeing some of this but I did want to have a go I do like that right um, okay I will have to go and wash that off I think um, the stuff that I've used it just gives the paint time um, so it gives you time in which to use it so it doesn't dry as quickly so yeah right now so really push that in I like, I do like that little bit of stamping. Right, so that's it. That's all I'm going to do with stamping. We're going to use this though. Um, I need a brush in which we can dry brush. Um, and I do want to bring in some more bronze. So I'll put that there. And then we're not going to be wasting it. So, now I don't mind if I use my um thing for this what i'll have to do is see if i've got like a small pot or something sorry <laughs> quincy was being annoying i left the back door open my husband is cold right okay so that's way 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 too much where's that other bit yeah so what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna see if i've got like a little pot or something um and i'm just going to go and yeah pop that in there because I don't want to waste it I actually really like the colour right still way too much on okay much better right so with flicking motions and there goes one of the dogs once in I knew that was going to happen which is why I left the door open but if hubby is cold so I am just going to dry brush so I'm using um I'm just using small flicking motions. I've got very little on my brush. Well, actually, I've got more than what I would normally have on my brush. Um, but that is completely fine. Um, so, yeah. And I'm just going to go over all of the texture. And, um, yeah. So, yay. I haven't used this hand just for a bit. Hopefully, it won't mess up. Right. So all of this is all going to be just um, laid up with texture. So I'm going to just keep going um, with it because, like I said, I'm wanting to sort of build it up. But I I'm going to build it up with um, the different colours. Now this side, I really, really want to have that, quite a lot of that metallic. Now I'm going to come in with all the other colours that I'm deciding to use um, and I'll go over it and I will lose some of this colour um, but the good thing about it is we're going to do it in layers um, so like I said um, it's the smaller the better um, the layers and you build it up and you build keep building it until it's at the consistency that you want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the next bit on speed up because I'm literally putting very little on my butt brush um, and then I'm going to build this up in layers um, using the different colours I'm going to pop this into a little pot because I'm sure I must have a little pot somewhere because I really really don't want to waste that um, and yeah I'm going to go and wash my stamps as well so this next bit will be on speed up because I'm going to try and keep the video um, not as long and yeah we're gonna ha I'm gonna have fun and then once we're, we've I've done with the dry brushing um, we'll come back and we'll start putting everything together so I won't be a minute
Right, okay, so I'm back. It took me about half an hour to do the colouring in. Um, so I started off just with some uh, with the um, metallic colours and then I brought in some of the blues and I'm loving how it's looked, uh, how it's looking. And I finished off going back over the top with the metallic because I really, really want that metallic look, but I did want the sort of the hint of that blue. Um, and I did sort of get the colour that I want by adding in this orange glitter, which was really unexpected. So just up here, it's like a sea green, which is really, really nice. Um, like I said, I am very limited with the um, colours of acrylic that I have. Um, because yeah I just I've never sort of bought um I, I sort of was buying them um a f like a couple of months at a time I would buy like 10 uh, different colors and then yeah the works just stopped selling them and I really like them so um I will have to have a look and get a better range of sea theme or at least sea colors I do have sea colors but just not in my acrylics I have them in other colors so just bear that in mind Julia <laughs> I have I have the the perfect colors in my water based ones so um, right, I am just going to sort of position these. So I, it's going to look as though, um, oh, well, you're going to think, well, why have I done all of that painting and covered things and then I'm just going to cover them up? It's just part of the process. It's just part of um, your like the process that you're sort of doing. Because if you think, I mean, we're working in layers. Um, so yeah so that's why I mean I, I work each layer as we go and if I cover something up I don't mind um, because at the end of the day you know it's the layers um, it's just how the project is going so don't ever be afraid to cover up what you've already done because honestly it won't um, it won't make like it, it's just part of the the process of of doing your piece it really really is um, and you know I've always worked in layers I always do each layer um, how I would do it um, and yeah not I mean I, I did have an idea of where I was going to put the bits and pieces however you know um, when colouring in I'm not going to skip out a section um, knowing that it's going to be covered up because then I'm not seeing the whole picture for that layer so I will do each layer as if it's like a complete layer um, because I just think it helps my creative process. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this and I'm liking the idea of having it just across there, like that. I think that looks really cool. So I do need to get some glue. Um, I've also got, um, oh, I love this, but I'm, I'm trying to work out. I think we're gonna have to get some because I don't want to cover this part but I mean I know we've got this here however I don't mind that um, but what I'm thinking is we're going to have to get some uh, cardboard so let's grab some out um, I'm going to have to use some cardboard to make it um, yeah to bring it up to the height that we need so I'm just going to cut some bits off um, and I know that if Julia needs height she's going to do exactly the same she is going to use her um, so I'm thinking that there and then we have this big one sort of come over there so I'm just working out how to glue these down so not as big so I need to take them down and then I need something just under that bit here so yeah right so I think I've got um, a, a way to go so I know what I'm doing right okay um, need to go and sort the dogs out again right uh, um yeah I will be back in a second okay so I'm back Um, while I was sort of um, away um, so this is a, let's just pop these in um, so this is what I'm thinking of so that bit's gonna go up in that corner um, and I will use cardboard. I've got my glue gun um, heating up as we speak so that we can get um, these stuck down. So this is what I have. So let me just see if I can sort of, I don't know, pop that in somehow. Right, well, anyway, you know that's gonna go there. Um, now, we have our tag sheet as well. And what I thought 
was we've got this little baby seahorse which I thought might be nice up there so I was thinking of fussy cushion that out we've got this little jellyfish that might look nice and then we've got these um, little heads which I'm I think I'm going to fussy cut out um, and have them down at the bottom here so let's do that um, while our heat gun is um, gl uh, gluing up <laughs> heating up Oh dear. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, Julia, I know she's got some gorgeous, gorgeous acrylic paints. I know fine well that she is going to absolutely rock this um, because she's got all the perfect paints that sort of are perfect for like sea themed. Um, I think I've got a bit very, um, I'd say probably steampunk. Um, but I have just used what I had, um, but it just goes to show you don't have to go out and buy anything fancy. Use what you have. That's what, you know, we all should be doing. Um, so, yeah, but I know that Julia's is going to be nice, bright teals. Oh, she's, hers is going to look gorgeous. And teals is the way that I wanted to go, but um, yeah, I can't do that with them, um, with mine. So let's finish getting these um, cut out. I know the dogs are being absolute pains today, so I'm hoping that I can get this a finish because, um, yeah, we're off to my mum's for dinner. Um, so, yeah, the girls stayed there last night. Um, so I'm actually recording this Easter Sunday. Um, so, yeah, um because I know Kate, Kate was home, well she came home last Monday um, for the week um, and my mum had the girls on Saturday, so last night, um, which was really nice. So, um, And then mum was doing it was our Easter dinner, so we're going there for two o'clock. Um, so I thought, you know what, while the house is peaceful, she says, <laughs> Um, I thought I'll finish off this um, video, but then the dogs are being absolute pains. So, I mean, yeah, I can hear lady starting. I've shut my door, so I'm hoping that whatever noise sort of comes through, um, we, uh, <laughs> you can't really hear that much. So that's what I am hoping. Okay. I just like the idea of having these sort of as if they were at the bottom of the sea. Now I, I'm a little worried because I don't know if I follow the breach, the, the breach, the, uh, oh, the brief. Honestly, my words today, um, because she said to do two, so I don't know if this counts as two because I've joined them together. I'm hoping it does, so Julia. If I, if I've done this wrong at all, please do let me know. But um, I'm hoping um, I've sort of because I was going to do two separate ones and then I've ended up combining them. So I'm really, really hoping that um, I haven't sort of yeah. Um, I don't know. You've got it wrong somehow. <laughs> So that's what I'm really, really hoping. Um, and I'm hoping that we are allowed to do it. I'm hoping, actually, that Judy has done it as well. Because that would be quite cool. Right, I love that. So I think that will definitely go somewhere. And then the very last thing is, let's just firstly cut this uh, seahorse out. Okay, so, like so. Um, because I just think it would be nice for them to, for there to be two seahorses. Right, I do need to grab some glue sticks. Oh, I got a lovely tip the other day, and I will definitely have to try it about glue sticks. Um, and then being stringy, um, but leaving them in the freezer, how cool is that? So I will have to give that a go. And as the freezer is literally next to my, my craft room, that would work very, very well. I just want to go inside of here. So and there she goes. Honestly, she really is a pain in the butt at the minute. She'd never left my side yesterday, so I think because I, I was at my mum's, I don't think she likes me staying at my mum's. 
but yeah, I shouldn't have left my side. Right, and then obviously I wanted to <laughs> to do some filming, and yeah, she's not happy that I want to film. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So let's start by building this up. So I'm just going to get this, and what I am just going to pop in, um, put my glue in. Okay. Okay. Oh, get down. And we're going to stick this just in that corner because it will be covered, but I'm wanting it so that it just, it ha this bit, oh, I mean, that's much, much better. Um, so cardboard, honestly, is an amazing tool. And we've got glue strings everywhere. So I'm going to have to get my um, heat tool out at the end of this. Now, normally, if you sort of... pop it in and just rub it off um, as you go. I don't think that even makes sense but if you sort of um, and get it and put the nib on and do like that. Normally you don't get them but with these glue, glue with this glue you do. Right now I need to cut this down because I know that so I'm thinking that there and then that bit Put that down as well I need that bit in there so that's what I'm thinking with those two okay so let's get this nicely adhered down um, and like I say we're doing this so that our um, fussy cut element has somewhere oh, to uh, to sit on that under there much much better and then I'm going to pop that bit on there oh running out of glue I want to get those um I don't know where you would get them from but you know they're really long glue sticks I don't know if they do them in the mini one in the mini guns so that would be handy oh see there now I need to pop we need to just keep building so that's what I'm going to do and as long as I don't go outside like um, outside those lines that we're already on, we'll, we will be fine. So I'll stick that in there, and then we'll pop that there. Um, we need a little bit more. It's gone there. Okay, so I'm liking that, and then yeah that there and then we need to do the same up here so let's have a look right so that's going to need another little a new another few bits to go which is fine we can do that I need the big scissors oh actually um so yeah so it really is just building up those layers um using um our cardboard so that we can get a nice um yeah so we can get our piece to sit nicely so just like that now i i will get rid of the glue strings i'll do it on camera as well so the the way i do it is just with my heat gun and it works wonders so i highly recommend it right let's just grab all of these because we do need um, a piece so let's grab this and let's hope so that's going to sit there oh that is perfect so I know that with this piece in that bit is all done okay so like so and then we just need to build up this end piece here so I'm just going to um Put a few pieces so <clears throat> and again I'm going to check it because we don't we want to make sure that these are not seen um, at all so, and then maybe another one I think three is probably what is needed there oh that would be perfect right so let's get these glued down 
one, two, and the last one. Oh, need more glue. Good one. There we go. Three. And then this, then, are oh, perfect. So then we just put that down there. So you can, you can see in there the uh, cardboard. But what I'm going to do before we stick it down, I'm just going to grab my black gesso and I'm just going to paint the edges of this cardboard just so that it sort of blends in just a little. Um, so it's not as obvious. Um, like I said, this I'm not impressed with uh, with this um, gesso. It's more, I would say, it's more like grey than black. But yeah. So yeah. So this is a really good way to disguise um, the fact that yeah, we've got a load of um, a load of cardboard. So just popping that in, making sure all those sides are covered. Okay, you don't have to do this, this is just um, personal preference, but um, if you were worried about the cardboard being seen, then um, I just wanted to sort of show you that there is stuff that you can do. I mean, there's a lot that you can't see um, once we've got our seahorse down, but yeah, there's no reason why we can't have it blending. Okay, I'm just there. Right, so I think that should be, should be, okay. So let's pop that on there and just have a look. Much, much better. Right, okay, so now that I know where this is going to go, I'm just going to pop some glue on. And then we're going to stick this down. And again, I'm making sure to, that um, I haven't got any of that cardboard showing on the outside. So now, I mean, that's now absolutely solid. So there's not going to be any problems whatsoever with that um, falling apart or being seen. Um, but if you can see down there, it's just all black. So you can't really see the um the cardboard unless you were really looking for it so just a nice little tip there for you right okay so now we've got them done um oh, i like that but i think i'm gonna have it actually on there yeah so let's do that so i'm just gonna use um the glue stick as my dimension so that will sort of grab there we go okay um we've got this bit so i just need the glue right the way along that bottom like that and then we're just going to glue that in place love that chain i think that chain looks really really gorgeous and we'll just put a dub in there as well okay so there's that so that's what we've got so far thinking it looks amazing and then um we've got a little jellyfish which i'm wondering where to pop actually oh I, I may put our jellyfish there yeah let's do that um i do think it needs a little bit of cardboard on the back so let's do that So, see if one will be enough. Oh, yeah, one's more than enough. Right, need some more glue. Let's glue this down. Um, if you haven't been over and seen our gorgeous Julia's, um, what she's come up with this month, please do make sure you go over because honestly, you're definitely going to be treated with hers this month. Um, she absolutely rocks underneath the sea. Um, oh, she's just fab. 
so please please do go and check her out right anything i'm just going to glue them ones on um now we're allowed to add some gems in so let's just pop these down and then i'm going to grab some gems out of my stash um well, actually, I just need to double check. Oh, and we're also allowed our souffle. So I'm allowed some cogs, cabochons, and gems. So I think I just want to add in some gems. Now, the thing with the gems is, which ones do I want to add? Because I've got absolutely loads. Um, and the other thing is, is where will I have put them? Oh, okay. I think there's some gorgeous ones in here, but I do need to sort of tip them. Yeah, I thought so. We've got some of these really pretty ones. So they are good. Um, I've got, oh, I've got some pearls. So I'm liking the pearls. So maybe, so these are cabochons, so I can get away with these, because like I say, they're cabochons, so. Um, oh, I'm liking that. Um, what else do we have in this little pot of goodness? Oh, I've got these big ones. I actually bought these um, to wire wrap around. I will get there eventually and do it. I love wire wrapping and I haven't done it in what feels like forever. So I really, really would like to do some wire wrapping this year. Um, oh, some more pearls. Sure, there's there must be more of the yeah of like the blingy ones. Surely. Um so I am literally just using what's oh I like them. Oh, I've got that gorgeous flower, but the fact that I've only got one, I don't think that would work. So Right, okay, I think, yeah, I think that will do. So let me just, I don't think I'm gonna use it all, um, but they are there in case I do want to use them. Um, yeah, so let's have a look, make sure this is definitely on screen. So I'm thinking that we can have like the blingy ones well, a mixture of them actually. So we can have blingy and pearl um, all together. Um, ooh, like in that corner. So that's definitely, um, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And maybe that one there. And then I'm thinking that, um, oh, throw them away. Let them fall everywhere. No. What about that colour? Yep, much nicer. Um, hmm. See, there's four in there. I need five. We need five. What about that? Oh, what about that? I like these. And then, what about if we just pop? Yeah. Actually, I am going to use them all because I think they look fab i think they look amazing right you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to use my just everyday glue for these um so this should work so let's do that um because they are more or less going on to onto paper so yeah and i don't want to risk burning my fingers either um so i know on a recent live i burnt my fingers which was um yeah quite funny well it wasn't quite funny it was because i sort of said let's do it let's be professional this is how you do it and then i did exactly the same thing so yeah i found it quite entertaining <laughs> And I think everybody who watched it as well also found it very entertaining. So, yeah, right. We have got quite a bit of glue strings. So I am going to grab my um, heat gun and we're going to get rid of those because they are just a pain in my life. Oh, 
I'm loving this. Now I do have a little sentiment as well that I would like to put on. Um, okay, so that is that. Oh, that's going to pour out everywhere because of course it should, well it will. Right, so what I'm going to do is let's, I'm just going to closely cut around it and that's one of the dogs at the door. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Husband to the rescue, he has kicked him away. So I'm going to have that C and then we have this big horses. I have really, really enjoyed doing this project. I miss mixed media um, and I feel like I haven't done it in forever. Although I know I have. Um, I, I do mix media at least once, twice a week. So I don't know why I feel like I've missed it. Um, but yeah, I just, oh, I like the idea of that just up there. And then maybe that just there. What do you think? Let me, oh yes, I like these. So I'm just going to stick a load of glue on here and that's going to stick on there and should give it enough support. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. Okay. And we're just going to stick that in there. Now we are allowed a black pen because it is attached to Julia's fingers and oh, she was doing a live actually and um, somebody mentioned the black pen and taking it off her. I was like, oh dear, don't do that. We'd have a very, very, very grumpy Julia if you took away her black pen. So we will not take Julia's black pen away. I tried many moons ago and yeah, never going to do it again. It's not worth it. <laughs> Definitely not worth it. Right, okay, so... Actually, now that I've moved that, it doesn't seem to be any glue strings anywhere. Oh, but I have realised I haven't glued that one on. Oh, we've got one in there. Oh, and I, I haven't actually glued any of them on. Husband's asking me if I want a cup. Yay! We like it when husband makes us cuppers. I know that um, I tell him when you guys say, ask where he is with the, the with the cup of tea or the cup of coffee coming in um, on my videos. So thank you so much for those comments because it ensures that I do get more cuppers. <laughs> Luckily you can't hear me because the door's shut so, um, and the kettle's on. And our kettle, our kettle sounds like it's a, um, it's a, a aeroplane taken off so so noisy really nice kettle is our new one but it's really nice but like I said really oh, come on this has got some in it's just refusing to come out because I stood it up instead of turning it um, I normally leave it like that and I didn't I turned it upside down which was a bit silly well the right way I normally I store it upside down there is plenty and I can fit there it is see I could feel it but yeah right I don't know where the other pearl went it sort of disappeared somewhere into the darkness right last thing oh it's so nearly finished so my last thing I want to use is a souffle and because of the colors that I've gone for I'm gonna go for fool's gold this stuff oh my goodness me I am oh, I'm in love with it. I absolutely love it. And I know that um, Julia is exactly the same. It is just, oh, it's gorgeous. I just need to wipe off my, because I am going to use my um, palette knife for it. Um, it dries it clear, um, but it's just, oh, it's just pure glitter. I have every color and every time they bring a new more out, <laughs> yeah. Both Junior and I, I think we're stalking the place in case there's any, any other colours. But, oh, it's just amazing, amazing stuff. And really, really brings sparkle to your work. Oh, I just love it. 
So if you've not heard of Souffle, it is from Craftbox and it is like a paste that is just glitter goodness. So that's all we have is lots of glitter in it um, and when it dries so as you can see at the minute it's got like it's white and um, but that will dry clear um, and then you just see all the wonderful colours of um, the souffle so this souffle that I'm using is a mix of copper and gold um, and the name of it is fool's gold which I'm thinking Julie is either going to go with fool's gold on hers or she's going to go with the um oh, the precious opal i think those are the colors that she might go for right so you can go over the top of pictures and stuff because that's the beauty of it with it drying clear it's just oh it's amazing stuff it's too so so nice i want a nice big so generous dollop in there um but definitely wait i think if you to use it wait till the very last like make it your last bit to do because yeah it's just so fun and just try not to do what i'm going to be doing and add in way too much on but i can't help it i just love the stuff so yeah i'm just wanting to sort of try and get it in different areas so so far got it sort of a little bit in that corner but we've got a bit here um i don't think i'm going to bring in any more i think i'm <laughs> i'm just going overboard as it is oh i love it absolutely love it but you can use it with the spatula you can use it with your um or with uh, a paintbrush um i know julia uses hers a lot with a paintbrush and actually i think i should do the same because i would end up saving it then because yeah i do use a lot of it um i'm wondering whether to sort of put some of that should we mix because julia didn't say oh i've got, oh do you know what yes we're going to mix because i've got this one this is the emerald constellation one and this changes color when you do it at an angle which is awesome so yeah, oh, I like I say, absolutely love it. Just gonna clean that off so I don't mix my souffles. And here comes husband with a coffee. So yeah, he just has to show it. Yep, yeah, I think everyone can see. <laughs> okay, so don't forget, leave your comments in the comment section for him and hopefully he'll make me more. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm gonna mix this in and put it in a few spots as well all for the fool's gold because i think it'd be nice to add that bit of green in and i know julia's got this so i'm wondering if she's going to use this one. Ooh, that's exciting isn't it exciting so oh, there's the dogs again there's the dogs again so like I said, I'm just sort of going over where I've, I've already put. Now, Julia has used her heat gun to dry this. And with um, I know she, they say, craft boxes, to leave it to dry naturally um, because it can become cloudy. Now, Julia did use her heat gun um, and she said hers didn't. But that is something to sort of be aware of. Um, so not to, um, yeah, rush the drying process. I mean, the thinner it is, the quicker it dries anyway. So, yeah. Oh. Um, hands getting in the way. And I do have some glue stick strings. I don't know if you can see. There's a massive one there. Annoying things that they are. Right, okay. Oh, loving that. Absolutely loving it. Right, and then I'm just going to sort of mix those two together. Um I just want it to come up the side a little. Okay. Yeah, loving that. Um, and then I'm going to put a bit of this on the side, I think. Yeah. Just so that it matches in. Like, because you don't want to neglect the sides of your canvases, um, if at all possible. Oh. I've got no movement in my hand at the minute. Right, there we go. But nothing will stop me from crafting. <laughs> but I think most crafters are like that. Nothing stops us, does it, from, from crafting. So, 
yeah right loving it absolutely loving it right i'm going to pop that in water ready to be cleaned um and there you go i think i'm finished so um i've got glue sticks just around here like glue strings sorry just around see if i can bring this up so you can see I'm trying to see where um if we can see them on camera i don't think you can but there's a massive one sort of there oh there it is can you see it so um what i do is i just get my heat tool and i melt that down there we go and now there is no can you see there's no um thing at all no glue string there at all so i'm just gonna do a couple of areas where there is one and see if i can quickly dry a little bit of this souffle mm, that's gorgeous so as you can see just this little bit i, I am going to leave the rest to dry naturally but can you see how awesome is that so so pretty so this is my um canvas so i'm going to come back when this is completely dry and we can see all that gorgeousness of glitter and everything um so yeah so i will be back in a second it's actually going to be probably later on tonight cause, um i am going to my mum's for my dinner can't wait um so yeah so but i'm loving it i think it looks amazing i need my husband to put a new shelf up in my craft room so i can display all of my artwork so i think this looks amazing um so yeah i will be back in a second we'll have a look when it is completely dry okay so i'm back there it is all the dry i mean there's a few areas that are still slightly wet just in that corner but hasn't that glitter just made a huge huge difference oh it's just absolutely gorgeous and i don't know if that's going to pick up on the top but if you turn it it changes color so yeah oh it's just gorgeous 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 so this is my make this week for our uh, uh now i'll try and get my words out this is my make for uh, dawn and julia creates this week so it was julia's choice i've had loads of fun julia so thank you as always um so next next time is my turn so we'll be playing with the embellishments that we made a few weeks ago um which is going to be so much fun um but yeah i oh, i love it absolutely love it let me know in the uh, description box uh, description box in the comment section below what you think um yeah if you do something differently what would you do um i think it's always nice to know isn't it um but oh, the papers are just gorgeous i mean i didn't want to do anything the only thing i think i it probably might have done thinking on now is roughened up the edges but i just love it i love how it's come out i just think it's absolutely beautiful so i hope you've enjoyed it here today i hope you've enjoyed watching this like i was saying earlier in the video please do go over and have a look to see what our julia has done so do check out her video so the link to her channel will be in the description box below do go and check her out because honestly you know fine well that she is going to smash smash this she is amazing with under the sea um themes so I definitely definitely go and check her out um but that is it from me today thank you so much for watching um and we'll see you again in another video very very soon but until then happy crafting bye